what's up guys KSK here today I bring you guys the brand new video this is CR Droid 6.5 the high performance Android 10 gaming ROM for your smartphone CR Droid is a custom Android OS that is based on Android 10 which is designed to improve the performance reliability and customizability of stock Android I have been using this ROM just for gaming from two weeks now on my Redmi K20 Pro and in this video I'm going to talk about everything about a CR Droid which includes both pros and cons. Let's get started. Now when it comes to the launcher, this ROM comes with the default launcher called a CR Droid Home. This launcher supports the all new Android 10 navigation gestures. The home screen is very minimal and clean. Now just like another launcher, swiping up reveals the app drawer and swiping up or holding for a second reveals the app switcher and swiping to the right within the home screen reveals the Google Cards page. This launcher is very responsive compared to the standard Pixel launcher. Now talking about the quick tile section, oh boy, this section is a powerhouse for many toggles. There are tons of quick toggles that are available in this build which include a built-in caffeine, sound search, focus mode and more. But there is a one specific toggle that I appreciate the work of developers for including it and it's called a screen dimming. This feature controls the brightness by varying the power supplied by the circuit. So for those who are sensitive to flickers, enabling this feature will make the display produce a constant illumination. Like other ROMs, this ROM comes with support for the built-in Android 10 a theme engine that allows customizing the overall look of UI elements. It lets you choose your favorite icon style for quick toggles, you can change the accent colors, fonts, icon shapes and more. And this lets you create your own custom layout according to your fancy. You know, this ROM provides a way to tinker with the screenshots. They have added more options to take a full advantage of a long screenshot and also lets you customize the screenshot. Also, the screen recorder is available in this build. Just like some other ROMs, it won't record the internal audio of the gaming, but it does capture audio from the microphone. Now, compared to other ROMs, this screen recorder is simply superb. There are no glitches or lag will be noticed while capturing the screen. And guess what? The output of the footage is fantastic. And by the time of recording this video, I heard a newer build comes with Android 11 screen recording UI. So keep an eye on my YouTube community page to know more about it. Now for power users who want to customize their phone to the next level, CR Droid comes with numerous options within the settings. Take a look at these advanced settings that lets you customize the status bar elements, navigation bar, lock screen, animations, notifications and more. There is a one feature that caught my eye, it's called a gaming mode. Now keep in mind that this won't boost any performance but it does block some notifications and disables the auto brightness while playing games. Now it's time to talk about biometrics. This ROM supports a custom face unlock feature that lets you unlock the phone using your face. Now phones having IR sensor will be able to unlock the phone instantly even in the extreme dark light conditions. CO Droid 6.5 also brings support for the in-display fingerprint sensor. And trust me, it's simply super fast than other ROMs out there in the market when it comes to unlocking the phone. It almost feels like a physical fingerprint sensor and helps in unlocking the phone instantly. Apart from features, when it comes to gaming, CR Droid will blow your mind. Lately, I started playing many games on my device and for daily purposes, I used ROMs like Pixel Experience, Lineage OS, but none of them are in providing the high performance gaming experience. Speaking about PUBG, CR Droid handles this game like a boss. There is 0% lag or frame drops I have encountered on my Redmi K20 Pro, but on Poco F1, as usual, the initial gameplay was stuttering and lagging, but after entering into the main battle, the phone seemed to be responding as intended. Now, other games like Monument Valley 2, Asphalt and Legends provides a stunning immersive 
smoother gameplay on your device which is a big deal. Now, thanks to its default kernel which delivers a powerful gaming experience and you don't need to opt for any custom kernel. Now just like performance, battery life is also one of the core things to be considered. On my K20 Pro, I would say I'm getting more than a 6 hours of screen on time based on my usage. And lastly, these are the benchmarks that I ran on my device. Now it's time to talk about cons. The safety net check is an Android API that tests the integrity of the device. Sadly, CR Droid fails to pass this test. This means applications like Netflix cannot be installed from the Google Play Store, but this is not a serious problem. There is a workaround to bypass this issue. Also, I tried a Google Play and it's not working natively, but keep in mind you can always bypass the safety net check test using a magic manager. And some other minor bugs include the video playback issues in a very few devices. Now, basic features like VoLTE, LTE, Wi Fi, Wi Fi hotspot, Bluetooth audio, Wideband L1 works fine without any issues. So, the bottom line of this video if you want a smoother and high performance gaming experience, then try this ROM and let me know in the comments down below. So, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and consider hitting the bell icon next to it to get post notifications. Again, thanks for watching. This has been KSK Rail. Peace. Yeah, I can never ever find the right words. And there's no way this is real life. There's no telling you're the right girl. So I can only say that it feels right. It feels right. It feels right.